Hey, deserving listeners, it's time to continue watching The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Let's watch. My name is Dr. Kirk Honda. I'm a therapist and a professor. As I always say, don't use YouTube as a replacement for therapy. If you need a therapist, get one. You deserve it. You really do. Let's watch. I was sharing a private moment. Something that I haven't said. That sometimes not everything is up for discussion. Just be all right, so I haven't been showing all of the clips, but uh, Erica is going through a divorce, and then there was news that came out that her uh, soon-to-be ex-husband was involved in a lot of illegal activities, money-wise, other kinds of things, maybe cheating on her as well. And she moved out of the house, and now there's all this talk about um, you know, what her husband has been doing over the past number of years, uh, ripping people off, maybe um, even people that were poor people. I, I can't remember exactly what the story was, but ripping off money from the poor and giving it to the rich, essentially. And there's all these accusations that Erica was in on it. She's claiming that she wasn't. You know, I, I tend to want to believe her, but, you know, how am I supposed to know? And uh, normally, according to the friends, Erica is very reserved and doesn't usually talk about her life. But because the uh, events that have been coming up, she has been emotionally pressured to talk about it because she's going through so much pain and uncertainty and worry and anger. And so she, she's talking with her friends about it. And it's also the focus of the show. So the cast members are all focusing on it. It's all that they're, seems to be all that they're talking about, really. And over time, Erica has been slowly revealing stuff about what's been happening. Some Sometimes she'll reveal stuff. Other times she'll say she doesn't want to talk about it. And then, uh, you know, she's talked about the cheating. She's talked about the divorce. She's talked about the embezzlement. She, you know, she's talked, she's revealed a number of things to her friends on camera. And earlier, her and Garcelle were talking, and Erica revealed to Garcelle that Tom, her ex-husband, or her soon-to-be ex-husband, has been calling her, but she hasn't been answering the phone. So she, Erica thought she was telling Garcelle in confidence. Maybe she didn't make sure. Uh, they're on a reality TV show, so I'm guessing they, might, they probably should have conversations like that. Like, hey, I'm going to tell you something, but don't, don't say it in front of the cameras, but maybe that wasn't said. Uh, but anyway, they sat down, and Garcelle reveals this to their, everyone in the friend group, but, but also to the television cameras, which they don't usually acknowledge, but of course they know are there because they're you know in their face. So, uh, uh, and then Erica gets upset at Garcelle. I was just like, "How could you do this to me? How could you, uh, you know, betray my trust in this way?" I, I believe Garcelle didn't mean to, and thought that, that was up for grabs. And according to Garcelle, she's like you know, you revealed this, this, and this, which are much worse things than Tom calling you, uh, and you didn't answer the phone, so what's the big deal? Now, I've been having an hypothesis that for Erica, she, for a long time, has felt scared of her husband uh, emotionally, because uh, he seems like the sort of guy, and they've described him as someone that you don't want to be on his bad side. Like, he will make sure that you are punished, and he has millions of dollars and a lot of influence and he could destroy your life and i think for erica because she was in her 20s when she met him and tom was i think in his 50s maybe you know around 50 i'm not sure and they've been together for 20 plus years i think anyway so i think just total hypothesis that for erica she is terrified of certain things being revealed because she's worried that tom is i think that's his name the ex-husband is going to retaliate against her because they're in a in a battle right now for funds and money and there's all this embezzlement and I wouldn't be surprised if Erica is was terrified she was terrified to leave him anyway because she actually just packed up her stuff and left when he wasn't home I think she didn't have a conversation with him which indicates to me that she was scared of having a conversation now violence eh, maybe not but at the very least, his anger and what he's capable of, given his white male rich privilege that he absolutely could wield for evil, and many people have, and many people have while they're going through a divorce. So I, I'm guessing that uh, for her, it's not the 
uh, salaciousness of the detail that she will talk about. That's not what she's ranking it on. I'm guessing she's ranking it on what will anger him and cause her to be the target. You know, I think she wants, I, I get the impression she, she just wants to move on with her life. She wants enough money to be able to sustain somewhat of her lifestyle. And she, de- she doesn't want to get revenge. She, she just wants it to be over. And that's indicative of a certain personality type as they try to extract themselves from an abusive relationship. I don't know if he's abusive, obviously. I, I don't think she's said that. But, but I wonder if she's particularly upset because she's like, you're telling everyone in the world, which will get back to him, that he's been calling me and I have been not answering his phone call, which will humiliate him and maybe cause him to attack me. I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments. I was sharing a private moment, something that I haven't said. That sometimes not everything is up for discussion. Just because someone tells me something about one of you does not mean it bringing it up. The other possibility is that she's just fried emotionally. She is going through a very, very difficult time while on a reality TV show. I mean, just imagine, just imagine going through a divorce. That's awful. Imagine going through accusations of embezzlement where maybe you can be implicated to serve time in prison. Imagine being in the tabloids. Imagine worrying about your ex might take retaliation against you. And then you're on a reality TV show where for several weeks, everyone is focusing on you and you tend to be more reserved. That That's a lot of pressure. And so it's possible that she's just fried and she is just thinking, I just, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be talking about this. I just want to be quiet and, and reserved like I usually am. When she shares something and says, you know, listen, I, I don't want to talk about it. Or if she gave you an indication. Well, you're making it like I did this intentionally and it's not, and it's not the truth. No, I know because you were in, in the car already. You did not hear. I know that. I would never want to hurt yeah. her. You weren't there. You didn't hear it. through a lot. I would never want to do that, but I never got told not to. This is a misunderstanding. Right. So for Garcelle, I believe her that she did not know that it was going to harm uh, Erica to reveal that. And Erica is saying that she feels betrayed and, you know, she, she's going through a really tough time. I, I suspect that Erica's just really fried from all that she's going through. And in a week or so, she'll, you know, say to Garcelle, look, I was I'm sorry. I, you, I, I still think you shouldn't have said it, but. When I found out, it was just the last straw on the camel's back. (laughs) Next time on The Real House... All right, well, that is it for that short episode of Psychology in Seattle. Tune in next time when we continue watching. And everyone out there, please take care of yourself because you deserve it. You really, really do.